No, 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 no. Come on. Nope. Turn, turn around. No, you stupid motorcycle. They're, they're waiting for me. Come on. They're back there. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, good enough. Hello friends, my name is Frost, and welcome to another 7 Days to Die video. Um, the last video that I put up that was kind of like this, the uh, compact 5x5 build, did fairly well. Got some questions, got some comments, some feedback. So I figured this time we're going to do a 4x4 compact build, um, and then answer some of the questions that people had about the building materials, and kind of asking if we could uh, show how to use... If I, I don't know, I said we, if I could show how to use some other materials that are a little bit easier to get instead of concrete early on in the game, since it kind of got turned into a uh, beginner's tutorial on how to build a compact base. So, um, we're going to get into that. I'm going to show you how to build the 4x4 four, four four compact build. I'm also going to show you how to easily get, or more easily get, some concrete. So if you wanted to use the strongest um, blocks in the game to build your base, you can. And then also showing a more... Uh, easily accessible block that you can get early on in the game. So let's uh, let's get off this motorcycle, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna <clears throat> press some buttons really quick, uh, do some things. Why? What? What is happening? Uh, F5. Eh, P. There we go. Nope. F5. Whew. Thank you, motorcycle. Appreciate your help. Okay, uh, so just like the last one, I have set up here all the materials we're going to be using in this 4x4 build. Um, the build is supposed to be, like, the goal is to get as small of a base as possible with being able to have everything that you would need to be able to survive from now until forever. So, uh, we've got a bedroll, storage chest, a power source, I've chosen the battery bank with a switch, um, a campfire, a table saw, cement mixer, forge, a workbench, and a chemistry chemistry station. So yeah, so we're going to be getting all of these crammed into the base, um, which I'm going to build uh, right over here, right across from the pawn shop, because, you know, why not? But first, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to more easily craft uh, cement blocks and a more uh, viable solution early on. So. Let's, uh, let's head up north over here to Dyersville. Alright, there we go. This is Dyersville, if you couldn't tell. Come back. Never. Okay, so uh, first off, showing how to get concrete uh, fairly early on in the game. Um, so I've chosen Dyersville because of this construction site, and that is because this construction site has these pallets of cement mix uh, all over the place. Now, the cement mix is a new material that was added in Alpha 17, and it can be found in pretty much any um, uh, dungeon crawling building that's been placed in Alpha 17. It's like this building right over there, this house over here. If you went down to the basement or the attic, you're probably going to find some of these uh, bags of cement mix. Um, but anyway, so what you're going to want to do is if you have a regular shovel, which, you know, if you're on day one, you probably don't have an iron or a steel shovel. But if you do, you can use a shovel and you can mine these guys and you're going to get cement mix down in there in the corner. You can see uh, seven cement mix right there. If not, then you can just pull out a stone shovel and you can do the exact same thing. And uh, yeah, you can get the cement mix the same way. Not as fast, not quite as efficient, but eh, you get the gist. That is not what I want. I want this one. Um, so yeah, so concrete mix, concrete mix, that's what it is, not cement mix. I apologize for that. Concrete mix. Uh, we're going to go to the recipes, and as you can see, um, you've got all these different wet concrete blocks you can craft. Um, now you are going to need the cement mixer, which I believe there's one here at the construction site. If not, though, you can find them around. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's one right over there. So yeah, so once you have the concrete mix... Uh, or the cement mix, sorry about that. Uh, you're just going to come over here to the mixer, and unfortunately this one is broken. Um, so if you can find one that's not destroyed, I don't know why I searched that guy. If you can find one that's not destroyed, that's how you can make your cement blocks, or concrete blocks. Oh gosh! Okay, so, now that I haven't died in the construction site, I'm going to show you guys how to craft a more uh, easily accessible block instead of crafting the uh, wet cement for this base. So what you're going to want to do is, we're going to be... I don't know, start digging, start digging. Let's get some clay soil. Um, so that's the first thing you're going to want to have is some clay soil. So we're just digging, let's get a better shovel, get some more clay soil. So the clay soil you can find literally anywhere in the green. If you're in the green, you can find the clay soil. It's everywhere. Get used to it. 
Um, so once you have some clay soil right there, got some clay soil, you're also going to want to have some small stones. And here's the reason why. Go to recipes on the clay soil, and you're going to want to craft cobblestone rocks, which require clay soil and small stones. Um, once you have the cobblestone rocks, you can go to the recipes for the rocks, and you can then craft flagstone. Now the flagstone is actually a really handy block to have, because it's like, you know, like I just barely showed, all you need is some clay soil, which you can get anywhere in the green, and small stones. You can also find those anywhere. And uh, those will craft the flagstone blocks. Now the flagstone blocks, the reason why they're quite a bit better is because if you look here, the hit points are 500 versus a wood block where the wood block hit points are 225. So you've got over double the amount of hit points just from using some small stones and some clay soil. So it takes a little bit longer to craft because of course you have to get both the clay soil and the small stones, then you have to craft the rocks, then you have to craft the stones. But it's worth it, okay? These blocks are a lot better than just having these wood blocks. Even It's even better than the reinforced block, because even if you reinforce the block, you're still 225 times 2, which isn't even 500 points. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Anyway, so that's the blocks we're going to be using for this build. So, uh, yeah, let's get heading back out to the desert. Ah, hello, desert. Okay. So now that we're back out here, let's uh, let's get started with the build. So like in uh, the 5x5 build, I've got all of my stuff right here in the chest ready to go. So what you're going to need is 126 flagstone, well, you don't need flagstone blocks, but I'm going to be using flagstone blocks. Um, but you can use wood, you can use anything you want to make this, but you're going to need at least 126. That is taking into account, uh, I believe, three holes for windows, a hole for a uh, hatch, and then two holes for the wooden door. So, uh, yes, let's grab those blocks, put those in there, and we're just going to throw everything else over here. Ooh. Perfect. All right, so let's uh, head over here. I've cleared this little area right here, so it's all good to go. So let's get this 4x4 four four going. Okay, so this is the area that I'm going to be working with right here, as you can see. Okay, so before I put the walls up, just so you have a little bit better of a visual, um, I'm going to get everything put into here, at least everything that I can put into here. Um, so yeah, so that way you have a slightly better visual. So, uh, first thing we want to place down, like I did last time, was the chemistry station. So we're going to put that right here in the corner. Um, next up is going to be the workbench, and we're going to rotate that a counterclockwise 90 degrees from the chemistry sta station and place that right there. Next up, we're going to put the forge over here in the corner. And the great thing about putting the forge first in the corner is you can then put the campfire right on top of your forge, so you're wasting less floor space. Uh, after that, so the door is going to go about right here. So let's put the power source right there. Next up, we're going to be placing the cement mixer next to the forge, and then the table saw right next to the cement mixer. Nope, that is not how I had it. Okay, so the table saw is actually not going there. The table saw, now that I remember, is actually going right here. Okay, so in the corner actually is where our bed rail is going to go, so let's get that rotated, place that down right there. Um, next up, we're going to be, I think, putting up the walls now. Yeah, we need some walls. So uh, let's get started on that. Okay, so now the walls are up, let's get the ceiling put on. Did I miss a block? <gasps> I did! It's like I know that I misplaced a block, so uh, had to have missed somewhere. Okay, cobblestone. Wait a minute, not cobblestone. Flagstone. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've got that all set up, let's get the, uh, whoop, let's press H so I go down instead of U, and we'll get the essentials put on, which is the door, the ladder, and all that jazz. So yes, yeah, so we got our door right there, we'll get our ladder heading up north for the winter, and we're just gonna, whoop, apparently fly, uh, fly through the wall, and we'll get the hatch put on, and we'll head back down in here. Okay, so um, we're getting pretty close now, so let's get some storage put in here. So we're just going to line this wall with four storage boxes. Should be more than enough. I mean, this, these things have got tons of uh, expansion room and all that jazz, so yeah. Um, next up, we got some lighting, so let's get some candles put in here. I don't know why I always choose candles for my lighting. I think it's just because, I don't know, they're small and... I don't know. I just like the look of candles. Okay, so uh, next up we've got the switch that we're going to put right here above our power source. So that way if we you know, come inside and we can turn on the lights or if we've got some uh, Gatling guns at the top or I don't know, something like that. 
Okay, so last but not least, uh, like I showed off in the other video, is going to be surrounding the top of this building with the bars. Um, so this time I'm going to be using wooden bars because those are more easily craftable than the iron bars that I had, and the wooden bars can be upgraded to iron later in the game once you have more materials. So let's uh, hold down R, switch to advance it, rotation, and we will get this... There we go. Lined up. Alright, there we go. Um, and if you didn't watch the 5x5 build, the reason why I did that is because you could actually shoot through um, these bars. So, you know, zombies are coming, horde is attacking, you can actually walk out on the bars, pull out your weapon, and uh, shoot through the bars. So, yeah. Um, so, one last great thing about these flagstone blocks is actually, they can be upgraded to concrete blocks. So, so that way, you know, like I said, if you use the wood blocks, totally, totally doable at the beginning of the game. You can use wood blocks, build your, you know, like this on your 4x4 compact build, and you can use wooden blocks for that. But, those can only be upgraded to a certain point, which is, of course, um, the iron reinforced wood blocks. So, those are pretty good. You know, let's, uh, let's, oop, let's come in here, go to the, uh, uh, I don't even remember what they're called. Wood... Uh, uh, there we go, that's the one. R wood metal block. So this is the uh, iron reinforced block, this is just the standard reinforced block. So the thing about these wooden blocks is they pretty much get layered with reinforcements. So you've got the regular wooden block, which has 225 hit points. You have the reinforced wooden block, which just puts wooden slats over it, which has also another 225 points. And then the reinforced wood metal block, which has 300 hit points. So it takes 300, hits to, 300 hit points to get through this one, 225 to get through this one, and then another 225 to get through the standard one. Uh, so they're pretty strong. Once you get upgraded to this spot, they will actually be stronger than these flagstone blocks, but these flagstone blocks can be upgraded to concrete blocks which, as we know, concrete blocks have 2,500 hit points, which is a lot better. So, yeah. Anywho, hope you enjoyed watching this. Hope you learned something new. Um, yeah, if you want me to make more videos like this, just let me know down in the comment section down below, and I'll be happy to cre keep creating these videos, because I really enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun, so hope you also have fun uh, watching and uh, being along for the ride. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a great rest of your days. I'll see you guys in the comments section. And as always, keep it frosty, friends. I can't, I can't see over the wall. This isn't how I planned. Ooh!